Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've clicked on this video, it's because you want to see some luxury fashion. And if you don't want to see luxury fashion, this is the wrong place for you. Today, I have an exciting haul. I've decided to put together and pick up pieces which I know I'm going to be loving for this particular season. We are slowly, very gradually going into autumn, winter. Although we don't really have an autumn, winter in Dubai. It rains once in a blue moon and sometimes it gets cold. I'm absolutely not complaining. I'm living my best life in this sunny haven. It's fabulous. The pieces I picked up today are pieces which I can wear throughout all seasons and I feel like these are key pieces, pieces I just really think are pieces you should have in your wardrobe if you're trying to curate your own luxury closet. Today's video is actually sponsored by Farfetch. <coughs> Farfetch is an online platform which I've been shopping on since I was about 17, 18 and it's been my dream to work with them. If you guys have been following me for a while and you've watched my earlier haul videos, you'll know that I have been loving Farfetch for a very long time, back since the Givenchy t-shirt days, like wow. Farfetch stocks over 3,000 brands, not just luxury brands, they also have an insane selection of sneakers. So if you're a sneakerhead, they have the Travis Scott Jordans. I didn't know what they were, but the price to me makes me want them because I feel like there's something that everyone wants and for 3,000 pounds, what, what is so special about these sneakers and why don't I have them? Farfetch is actually a platform that showcases products from an array of different boutiques all over the globe, including smaller boutiques, which don't really have much of an online presence, which I think is so important in this current time situation. Farfetch is the place to go if you're looking for a particular item. Anytime I'm looking for something, I know it'll be on Farfetch and I love the fact that you can actually compare prices to products and you can get like the best price on a certain product. Instead of having to scour the internet looking for the best price, you'll find it on Farfetch. I'm excited to be showing you guys what I got and I also have a discount code for you guys. I'm one of those people have my own discount code. It is in the description box and it is on the screen. Because my Farfetch items come from very different boutiques, they kind of come in at different timings, which I'm not mad about. It's just more of a reason to get excited next time I get packaged. It's just like, wow, what is in the package today? I'm gonna show you guys little snippets of my vlog footage when the packages came in. You already know, I couldn't wait to see the stuff. I'm just impatient when it comes to things that I shop online for because most of the time I forget. First things first, a very important accessory, which every woman should have all year round, sunglasses. So these are a pair of sunglasses which I was tossing up about between this particular pair and a pair of Bottegas. You know those really massive Bottegas which everyone's wearing? They're not available in Dubai anywhere. I've asked all my sales associates to find them for me and they can't, but they are available on Farfetch, just saying. They are stunning, but I couldn't say no to these Givenchy ones. I honestly don't know why, but there's just something about these Givenchy glasses which I just needed to have in my life. They are massive. They do come in a variation of colors, but I love dark, big, oversized sunglasses. Felt like these were just the perfect ones. Please don't get distracted by my dog. What are you doing? Can you relax? These actually have a detachable chain. You don't have to keep the chain on, they can come off. Even if it's not sunny outside and you just wanna be undercover with a beanie or a cap and a hoodie, throw on sunglasses. No one will even know you exist. And now we have masks, wow. I'm actually excited about these. I've been looking for a new pair of sunglasses for a very long time. And I believe these could be my new favorites. Ooh, they're massive, I love them. Next is a pair of shoes. Another staple for this current season, of course, a pair of boots. These are from Paris, Texas. I'm actually really excited about these. There are actually two colors in this particular style which I really wanted, but obviously, I went for the black. Boots, boots are crucial for fall winter and these are a pair of Paris, Texas boots. I fell in love with these when I saw them. I love the detailing of the Python heel. They do actually come in a beautiful beige, but I'm not really a beige kind of boot person. I think black boots just are me for fall winter. I need to get into more colors, I know. When it gets dark and gloomy outside, all I want to do is wear black or gray or muted tones. And for rain purposes, beige was not it's not the one for me. I'm just not responsible enough to be wearing such shoes. So I got these. They are this beautiful kind of ruche design and they just sit around like mid calf for me, but bear in mind I am five foot. So that is probably why they are like mid calf 
Maybe they should be ankle boots, but five foot. I will definitely be wearing these with jeans as well as like tights and a little dress or a skirt. There's so many different ways to wear boots and I just love the heel height. Paris Texas boots are actually very comfortable. If you haven't yet got into the brand, this is a pair which I would definitely recommend. Paris Texas is not super expensive. So if you're looking for a fairly affordable yet durable and chic pair of boots, I hate that word chic. Elegant, attractive, nice. Anything's better than chic. Paris, Texas should be your go-to. Or Gianvito or Aquazura. Wow, their boots are unreal. Next, of course, a staple in my wardrobe is a white shirt. I know you guys might be thinking, you already have this. This is actually, they release, Jack Moose released these in different fabrics every like season, I think. This is more like a softer, kind of floppier fabric of the classic Bahia shirt. And it's actually not the same. Oh, it is. It's just a different fabric. I just love white shirts. I feel like they pull together a very scruffy kind of outfit, like jeans and flats. A white shirt is just so important to have and not like a boring white shirt. Like I love this for an evening. If I don't want to be wearing like a boring, you know, plain white shirt, just a plain button down, this is something really cute. You can jazz it up with like a little bra underneath, like a lace bra or like a colorful kind of like crop top. There's so many different ways to wear these. I love wearing this with my dual bralette and I'm gonna have fun playing with this because this is so cute honestly this is one of my favorite pieces of my wardrobe and it's something I tend to gravitate towards the most when I don't know what to wear this shirt or similar Jack Moose shirts with jeans heels or flats and a cute accessory you're good to go I don't like fussy outfits I don't like faffing around and like wearing unnecessary things next this was something which I had my eye on for the longest time. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to buy it because it's not really something that I would wear. It's a very bold piece for me to choose. I wanted something more eye-catching, something which will enable me to wear brighter colors, brighter accessories. So I decided I would finally cave and get the Attico paper bag waist paper, what is it called? I unboxed this and I genuinely wore it to dinner the same night because I was so excited. I actually paired it with a black tank top and Amina Muadi's. I was kind of tossing up between wearing this with like a black t-shirt and like yellow Manolo's and like my paper Bottega bag, but I wore it with Amina's and my red little mini Kelly. This is such a cute piece. Because it's got black in it, you can actually wear it with tights and boots or like boots on its own. This is something I could wear with my Paris Texas boots, a pair of like over the knee boots, ankle boots, as well as my little Prada combat boots. I didn't think this would be cute, but I wanted to play around and I realized that it's actually such a vibe. And it also looks great with heels, like I said. If you're looking for a quirky piece, which is not like a bold statement piece, but is also like a statement piece in itself without being too over the top, I would definitely recommend this. I picked up size 40, which is a little large, but because it's got this tie waist, you're unable to just like cinch in your waist as tight as you want. And it actually adds more character to the skirt itself and more like volume at the bottom. Bottom, which I think is so cute. I actually got this on sale, which I was shocked about. They do actually have this in black and red, which was a bit too bold for me. And they also have it in khaki. Now I think I'm gonna have to get the khaki because I love the cut of this skirt. And the fact that it's denim, it's like durable, it's stiff, it's sturdy, but it's also not like super delicate. It's something you can wear in the evenings as well as during the day. And it's something you can even wear in summer, like spring, summer. It's obviously not reserved just for winter. But I feel like it's something I can wear to lunch as well as to dinners. Next, we have a trend piece, which I actually picked up from the men's section and I honestly shocked myself too. This is an off-white shirt situation. Plaid is apparently, plaid tartan kind of fabric print is apparently on trend for this season. Not that I really look into trends or care that much about trends. I love this because this is actually a piece which is very similar to pieces I've had in the past. I used to wear a lot of like oversized plaid shirts, like with Givenchy t-shirts and just, I used to have this like weird vibe. Just loved it. These look so good with like a t-shirt and like leather pants or you know like a bodysuit and a skirt. There's so many different ways to wear an oversized plaid shirt and it's got a little something extra on the back. It's got this off-white logo just so you know it's not just like a plain boring piece. And I love the density of this fabric. It's really soft, it's really warm, and it's actually quite thick. And what I also love about Off-White, even though I'm not a huge fan of the brand because it's a bit too street wary for me, is the amount of detail that goes into each piece. I don't know if you guys can see, but on the button, it says Off-White, and then literally there, it says Flannel Shirt. 
I don't think the camera's picking it up, but button. It says button off white and it also says flannel shirt i love that i love the little details that virgil abloh puts into his pieces and i think this is a really beautiful versatile piece i got the black and the white and the gray because it's the easiest piece for me to wear and i know i'm going to be wearing it during gloomy days although saying that you can wear it all year round paired with colorful accessories the most important item every girl should invest in for fall winter autumn is a pair of tights, stockings, hosiery, whatever you want to call them. I love Walford ones. I actually featured a pair of these in my last video, but those ripped because I'm careless. But also now they're like totally Gucci. These are great. I actually only get the 20 denier. I do want to get the thicker ones, the slightly more opaque ones for when it gets colder. I do love a pair of tights. I think they just look so cute with little skirts and little dresses and I just love a schoolgirl vibe and that's always been me so I love that kind of vibe. Okay, last but not least, this piece isn't really relevant but I just want to show you guys because I just keep buying these pieces and I, I feel like everyone should have at least one in their wardrobe. It is a Ralph Lauren shirt, a white shirt. These classic fit shirts, I just love them with jeans. They're just the most elegant thing to wear and like I said with my Jack Moose shirt, they're just the, like, the easiest thing to wear just to elevate a boring outfit, a very simple, boring, plain outfit. I love wearing these with jeans, I love them wearing tucked in with shorts or a skirt, and you can't go wrong with a classic white shirt. This one is great because it's not super fussy. I love the fact that the buttons are also white. I also love the fit and the quality of these, but this has a tiny little polo player, which means a lot to me because I come from an equestrian background and I love polo. If you don't want to go and bite the bullet and get the Jack Moose one, then definitely look into getting a well-fitted white Ralph Lauren shirt. You can't go wrong with them. Next piece is a little out of touch for this haul, but it's something which I saw on the website and I really liked. I I just love accessories. You guys already know that. I've been looking for something similar, particularly for summer. I used to have a lot of these on during spring summer whilst I was in lockdown. But then Chai came along and she chewed them all up and it is a colorful little anklet. These are actually crystal beads and the metal is actually coated in gold. I love little details like that. It just means that this is going to be a good quality anklet. I want to get more of these. I love colorful anklets, like worn with like espadrilles and my Laura Pianas and like a pair of jeans or a little white shirt dress vibe. And this is from a brand called Annie Lou. Wow, each piece is handmade. That's amazing. I love that. The packaging is cute as well. These make really cute little Christmas presents. If you're not trying to spend too much money on a Christmas present, actually Farfetch have like a great selection of gift ideas depending on your budget. Next, I went shopping in the mall. And I picked up a few things. So let's just skip to the vlog part and then I'll show you what I got. So first up was Laura Piana. I came looking for a sunny outfit. I came to get shoes. I just can't stop with the shoes. Honestly, I can't stop with these shoes. They're just so comfortable. So we've got the summer walks. I love these. They're very comfortable. They're like exactly like the summer charms, but they don't have the charms. Obviously, I live for Laura Piana. I live for understated, good quality clothes. Let's not discuss the off-white shirt right now. <laughs> I love good quality clothes and their shoes you already know I'm obsessed with and no I did not get open walks or summer charms or summer walks but I'm still trying to get my hands on a pair of the open walk boots with the fur because I love those though I don't think they're really practical for this kind of climate I mean it's not freezing cold yet the trainers are something which are just remarkable they're probably the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn I know I say this about everything but like all Laura Piano shoes are just so comfortable. This is the color, I believe it's linen, and it's like a gray beige, which is just oh, so lovely. I love them. I actually picked up these in a size 35. Usually my shoe size varies from a 35 and a half to a 36, but because these are quite soft and supple, I decided to get the 35 instead. They are a little difficult to maintain. Because of the leather, they obviously can get dirty quite easily, but I'm sure a little bit of Crep Protect will sort them right out. Of course, I live in white trainers. I love a variation of white trainers, like different styles of white trainers. So these are a beautiful white calf skin. They don't have any kind of hardware on them, which is amazing. Oh, actually they do, sorry. They have silver hardware, whoops. Just one tiny little detailing, which I love. Simplicity is key with my everyday outfits. I'm that person that tends to buy two of each thing if I really love it and wear it a lot, which is why I got two pairs of trainers. 
I also have these in black actually suede with beaver fur. You can actually customize these, you can get them with the fur, without the fur, you can change the color of the leather. Depending on where you are, customization can take up to 10 weeks. Sneakers are okay to buy from the store. I feel like the open walks and the white sole shoes, you should really personalize because the quality is a lot better. But like I say, every time I mention Laura Piana, go into a store, try on the shoes, look at the colors, speak to a sales associate, decide what you want and then go online or even in store, place your order for your custom design because the quality is just so much better of the personalized shoes. The craftsmanship is amazing and they just hold their shape better. I think I've left the best thing to last because this is something I was very excited about. This is something from a brand which I have not purchased from in a very long time. This is not sponsored. I know this brand has been doing a lot of sponsorships with different influencers. I actually paid good money for this and it is a little piece from Tiffany now the last time I bought something from Tiffany was probably in Bista Village when I was about 17 because I was obsessed with the sterling silk was it sterling silver like those classic Tiffany necklaces and charm bracelets and, and those keys the keys have got a little bit bougier now Tiffany is a very special brand to me it's a brand I've always really appreciated and loved their diamonds are flawless literally they're amazing this is a piece which to be honest, I don't think I've seen on many people. This particular piece, when I saw it in store, I was like, I have to have that because it matches my watch. It's rose gold. I don't have a lot of rose gold jewelry. So here is the Tiffany T1 ring. I believe this is the largest size with full diamonds. The diamonds don't go all the way around. They go as far as like you can see, which is useful. I love this. I love that it's like a classic Tiffany design, but it's also really unique. It's quite chunky. I didn't like the thin ones. I love that this has full diamonds. There are designs which only have like a half band of diamonds or like no diamonds, but you guys know me. I love a bit of bling. And this is something I can wear like every day on its own, just like with my watch. I don't have to like stack up too much. If you guys are looking to get into jewelry, these actually are the same price as the full Pave Cartier diamond rings as well as this particular Van Cleef diamond ring. They're more or less the same price. So you can take your pick which one you think is worth spending the money on. They are doing the most with their marketing these days. And I mean, sold it to me. It's a very special piece to me and I will cherish it forever like I do with all my jewelry So that concludes the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration from the pieces that I picked up Thank you again to Farfetch for sponsoring this video You guys can get some money off using my discount code which is also in the description box Along with links to all the items I've mentioned some of the items are on sale and don't forget Black Friday is coming up start saving the items to your wish list because it's gonna be a good one Make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. I will see you guys in my next video.